What up my dudes, it's the Denki Boy here, and welcome to another Game Maker Studio tutorial. And today we're going to be doing something super easy, super simple, hopefully. Uh, we're going to be talking about doors and like levers or buttons or something like that, and how you can make it so you can have multiple levers and multiple doors in the same room, but make it so it's like super easy to do, and like to connect everything together, so let's let's just let's just go let's just do it first off i'll show you what i got i got sprite player 16 by 16 dude origin in the middle and he's just a little square with a little <laughs> phase on it we've got a sprite block which is 32 by 32 block we got i got a lever bottom which is the bottom part of the lever and it has a two frame animation which we can kind of zoom in here so the first frame zero is like off right the next frame zero or one is like on right so we're going to use that to kind of show whether the lever whether the lever is on or off. We also got a lever top, which is like the handle. If we zoom in here, it's like the handle part. The origin is right here in the middle. So zero, two, right there. Origin's right there because we're going to just draw this on top of the lever to kind of make, give it a nice little effect. And then uh, I got a door that's 30 by 32, origin in the top left. And it's kind of got an animation of it kind of opening, right? And we'll use that to have it open and close. So, first off, I'll also show you that at the moment we've got object block, which is visible and solid. That's all there. And object player, this is what we got in the create event. If you want to pause and take a look, but this is the basic standard platforming stuff I usually do. So, if you can check out the more in depth stuff of how to do this, like in other tutorials and stuff like that. You know, like, especially the platformer shooter tutorial, you can check that out. But you can. Also pause and just check that out. We set some stuff that we use in our step event right here. And I actually didn't test this at all, but it should work. So I'll actually come over here and put it like that. So that way, if you want to get this all down, you can pause and get this going as well. But it's just basically your basic stuff, moving, stuff like that, colliding with blocks and whatnot. So um, after you got all that kind of set up, what I've done is I've got ourselves a room because we're gonna do some doors and stuff so we'll take off the grid we got this basic room where we got our little dude right here we're gonna I'm gonna put a door right here and uh, so it kind of blocks off our guy we'll put a lever over here and I'm thinking we'll put a lever like up here and a door like right there just so we can kind of put multiple in there but let's I'm gonna actually go ahead and get into this to make sure everything's going does this actually work does this have a view thing on it Okay, I'm gonna just do a simple view thing right here to make it so our view follows the player. X view equals X minus view. I'll put parentheses view W view zero divided by two. This is really basic stuff here just to get our view following our guy because we have a view in the room. And of the way that I want it to look. We'll go like that. All right, cool. And that should be that should be that. Get it so our view follows our guy perfectly and amazingly. So let's do this. Let's make sure it's all working for one. Got a little dude. Um so the game's also running at like 60 uh, 30 frames per second so there needs to be a little bit of changes so in here my level speed needs to be 60 number two in our object player I gotta go um, image X scale equals negative negative or no it just equals sign of H speed that way our character flip flops back and forth depending on which way we're going and then I also want to go into here because I do my I do my art, you know, that pixelated kind of style. So we always got to go in here. We got to go take off interpolate and put in use synchronization avoid tearing. So we always got to put those two things in there to make it so everything looks good when it comes. So, yeah, you always want to take off interpolation when you're doing pixelated art styles like that. So there we go. Now we got our character. He doesn't flip around. There we go. Now he's flipping around. Um, I think... I'm gonna change it so that maybe just equals X would input. Oh, ah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we can get around. 
and stuff like that and that's fine and then I'm just gonna go in here and change this so that our is not equal to h speed we're going to go h input just like that all right cool so now that we got that stuff set up I'm gonna go in here and check it again but now we're gonna set up our levers and our doors because basically we're gonna do it in two objects we're just gonna make a door object and a lever object and we're gonna make it so that there we go now our character kind of flips around our acceleration is um, we slide around a lot and uh, <laughs> we don't really want that to happen but well so I'm gonna increase acceleration and then increase our friction too so we get a little bit of a little bit of that going for us so anyways but so basically we're gonna make just our lever object our door object and then we're going to be able to put as many as we want in the room and connect them to wherever we want there we go that's much better much better except it's still hard to move around but we got it though and yeah so everything will be working good so first off let's make the door all right object door this is gonna be pretty simple so our door is gonna have our parent object block so that our character will run into it we'll also make it solid just in case because also when it comes to an animation like this you want to make sure you have precise collision checking and separate collision masks to make sure that each sub image has its own separate thing so when the doors open our character can actually move underneath it and get through it so there we go now we're gonna make in our create event and we're gonna say um, we're just gonna make a variable called open and we're gonna call it false alright and that's pretty much all we need to do right there in our oh and we also wanna go image speed equals zero then we're, what we're gonna do in our step event this is gonna we're gonna control like change our animation if we're open or close or not so we're gonna say if open equals false and how how uh, much is our animation our, anima our animation is eight frames long so we're gonna say if image index is greater than zero image index minus equals 0.5 I'm gonna say 0.5 just to make it so our door it opens and closes a little bit slower basically we're gonna say if open equals false right so if we're closed and our closed frame is frame zero so basically if our frame is like higher than frame zero we're gonna subtract our frame index until we get there pretty much so that like it goes to closing and we're gonna do the same thing oh and we're gonna say else if open equals true we're gonna say if image index is less than seven because that's the highest frame there we're gonna go image index plus equals 0.5 so this is gonna make it so that our door will open and close depending on what we're gonna do so this is all we're gonna do in our door for now let's put it into our room so we're gonna put two doors in here I want to put one there actually two might as well and one right there um, they're not going to do anything at the moment because they're they're closed, right? But we can at least put it put them in there to make sure we collide with them. So as you can see, we go in there, we can't get past, right? Because that's just our door, and so we need a lever to be able to open it. So let's go ahead and open it. First, let's make the object lever. Lever. I always want to put level, but no, it's lever. And we're just going to put the sprite bottom on there. Um. First off, then we're going to go. Uh, let's go to the create event and let's just say on equals false. In our create event, we're going to put that in there just so we have that. Then we're going to go to our, our step event and we're going to say if keyboard check pressed. And we're going to say ord because we're going to get a letter. And let's put E in there basically saying if we press E if distance to object we're gonna say object player is less than and let's just say is is less than zero then we're going to say um, on equals not on basically it's just gonna switch it no matter what um, also in our create event we're gonna say image speed equals zero 
And so let's go back to our step event and explain this. So when we press the E key, if our player is close enough, is like basically right on top of it, we can actually change this. I want to say if position meeting. Um, and that's someone else. Position meeting X, Y, object. Uh, and I think player will work. Basically, that message was like from my friend David. He built his new computer, and there's a game that I've been programming for a while that has like accounts and stuff like that. It's that tank one in the scrolling video, and so he's just wondering how to get his accounts, and I'll help him in. A, I'll help him in a bit. But anyways, so then if our player is like touching the lever, we're gonna switch on to be on or off. So basically, it's gonna say since it's false right now, it's gonna change it to true. And then also, what we want to do in our step event, we want to say. Um, image index equals on because if on is false that's going to equal zero and our image zero in our sprite is the off image but if it's on it's going to be true and true is equal to one so then one image is our on is going to be is like the green so it's on so we can actually put a lever in here and we can test that out so I want our levers to be um, we got one and we need to change our grid for a minute here let's take that off I want to put one lever like right here pretty much and then I want to put one like way up there uh, levers could be bigger it looks like but that's okay so then we can do that we can test this out we can go ahead and um, get this going here so we go up to our lever and you see when we press E on it it, sh it switches it on and off and we see I'm pressing E over here nothing happens but if like are touching the lever it switches on and off. so we can switch this one on and if we uh, we can't go and look at the other one, but that's okay. And I want to make it so our lever is... I'm going to change its depth to negative 10. Just right there. That way when we go inside of our game, it ensures that... Like our lever is in front of the player. So that way we can see if it's on or off. You know. So it's kind of a cool thing. Now we just got to make it... Oh, whoops. I hate it when I do that. But now we just got to make it... Well, first I want to add like a... Um another thing we're gonna make another image I mean another not another image another variable we're gonna call lever angle and this is going to be negative 45 to start out with and you'll see what I'm doing in a second so in our step event we want to say um, and then we're gonna say actual angle equals uh, no, 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 we don't, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. And so I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. So basically what we want to say, if on, and we can leave it like that, basically saying if our, if our level is on, lever is on, we want to say lever angle equals lerp value is and so this is technically going to be if we do this it's actually going to be 135 and there we go value is equal to lever angle the other value we're trying to get to is 45 and the amount we're going to say 0 0.1 just for now else figs that our lever is off lever angle equals lerp lever angle and we're trying to get to 135 and the amount also 0.1 basically we're gonna make just a little bit of animation with our level of our lever like stick we're basically just gonna like it's gonna move back and forth as we change it it's gonna look pretty cool that's all we kind of need for there and then we just need a draw event we need it in our draw event we need to go draw sprite ext Sprite is going to be SPR lever, and I think it's top. Sub image is zero. X and Y, so it's going to be like X plus eight because that's around the middle, and I'm going to just say Y plus eight because that's around the middle as well. Scale one one. Rotation is going to be lever angle. Color C white because we don't want to change anything, and alpha is one because we don't want to be see through. And then we want to say draw self. That way our leverage kind of behind our thing. So now let's let's go in there and we'll see we'll see how that effect goes. Because it should be good. So yeah, we have like our lever on, and as we say we can like switch it, and you see why it's like switches our lever on and off. 
So pretty cool. And I think the only thing I really need to do is like move it down a pixel or something. And it looks like good. So you can see it's kind of a cool like little effect here. We can be like, oh, lever. Uh, boop. Now it's off. Boop. You know, boop. Now it's on. Kind of fun. I'm going to go ahead and go into our draw event. And we're going to put it down one more. Like just to make it so it looks a little bit better. Now, however, let's actually go inside and um, run some stuff. So now we need to go we need to add another variable to this and we want to say um i want to say this i'm just going to call it this id we're going to make it equal to zero and in our door we're also going to go this id and make it equal to zero now all the program is just going to be in the door because of this this id so basically what we're going to do is in our step event now after all this actually before all this we're gonna say with and I'm gonna put object lever okay and then this is inside of our object lever we're gonna say if this ID is equal to other point this ID right basically if they have the same like ID when we're gonna say open equals other point on that's the whole script right there for everything pretty much because then all we need to do now is give each door and lever a separate ID to so that they know which one they're going to be opening and closing. And we do this inside of our room. All right, so if we go into our room level, what we're going to do is I'm going to right click on this lever. Look, there we go. Right click on this lever and I'm going to say um, creation code. All right, then I'm going to say this ID is equal to zero. All right. And then for these doors, because we want this lever to open these doors, we want to go here in creation code. We want to say this ID equals zero. And the same one here. Creation code. This ID equals zero. Now, we want this lever to open up this door. So let's go into this lever and say creation code. We want to say this ID is equal to one. And for this door, we want to say this ID is equal to one. All right, all right. So let's go in there and let's uh, let's see if it works. <laughs> I hope it does. It should, but we'll see. And we got a crash. Other point on. Open equals other point on. Uh, yeah. So let me go into the. Let's go into the door. Let's fix that. I know why that's that. We want to say. Um, yeah, we want to say other point open equals on let's just switch that around because we're inside the lever right there all right got that good let's go let's 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 let's, let's do it again let's try it again all right here we go we're going and now we're in so you can see these doors are closed that lever's open but you see as i open i press this lever and those doors are open Woohoo! i oh, put this lever those doors are closed again i wish we could see like the animation for them because they, they might be it's pretty cool but you see, this one's still closed because that. Whoa! We like teleported. Whoa! All right, that was uh, that was something. Okay, so we come up here to this lever and we turn this lever um, on. On. Now that door's open. You see, pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we come back up here, we can press that. That door closes. I'm actually. I want to put the lever closer so we can see like the door animation. <laughs> So let's get this guy and then put it like right there. There we go. But that's how you do it. So you can put as many levers as you want inside and as many doors as you want, as long as you make them all the same like ID and stuff. And here we go, here we go. Boom, there we go. See? And they're open. And you close it. And close it. Close it. And they're closed. And they're closed. And so that's that. That's pretty much that's the whole that's the whole that's the whole thing, right there, the levers and stuff. So it's pretty fun, a lot of fun, pretty cool. Uh, it's really useful because you can use this you could use this kind of principle for a lot of different things to make programming much easier on yourself. You can just change a few variables in the creation code, and then everything just kind of changes. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, you enjoy it, and subscribe if you want to see more of this crap. Always remember to have a complete breakfast, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.